What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this Alienware M18X. So as a lot of you will know I had the M14X and we did an unboxing and a review on that and now I've had the M18X for about a week and I'm going to be bringing you my full review on that. The unboxing is already up on the internet at the moment on my YouTube channel so be sure to check that out and like I say this is going to be the full review of this M18X. Now I've had this laptop for just over a week now and I've been using it quite a lot and I've really been quite happy with this laptop. It's an absolutely fantastic performer. The specs are really awesome. The screen is just insanely good with its 1920 by 1080 p WLED panel and even though it's a very large laptop and it's quite weighty, it's actually still quite a joy to use. Now what I'm going to do in this review is I'm just going to go through a whole different range of different sections and criteria and I'm just going to give you my opinion and some factual information around each different one of those sections. So let's start off here in round one with the specifications. So like I say this is the Alienware M18X, it's the stealth black version. It comes in at around £2,000. And in the US, I do believe that that's about $2,300 for the equivalent specification. Now, in terms of the processor, it's got the Intel Sandy Bridge Core i7 processor running at 2 GHz with 6 MB of cache. It's got an 18.4 inch widescreen, full high definition 1920 by 1080 WLED LCD display. It's got an integrated 3 megapixel HD camera. This one in particular has got 4 gigabytes of 1333 MHz DDR3 dual channel memory. And it's also got dual 320 gigabyte SATA hard drives running at 7200 RPM in a RAID 0 format. It's got a Blu-ray player and that also combines to be a DVD reader and writer as well as a CD reader and writer. This particular model has got the dual 1.5 gigabyte GDDR5 NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460M graphics cards in an SLI configuration. It's got integrated high definition 5.1 performance audio powered by Clip and also obviously has all of the wireless N and Bluetooth features that you would also expect it to have. Now let's just talk about some of the accessories that you get inside the box. You get first of all this fabric cover here which goes around the laptop and that's really something that's included in all the Alienware laptops and that's a really nice feature to have included in the laptop itself that just gives it that little bit of protection when you're moving it around secondly we also get this Alienware mouse mat it's actually quite a rigid one it's actually a reasonable size as well so again quite good of them to include that inside the packaging now something I really did think was great of them to include with this leather binder which actually has all of the manual and instructions for this particular laptop as well as a place to actually store all of the component CDs that come with the laptop and that really does give it quite a nice edge to it to include that within the laptop itself. Now let's just move on to the actual design of the laptop as with all of the Alienware laptops I've found this really is a good looking laptop. It follows the same pattern as the majority of the Alienware laptops in terms of its design. It's got all of the same backlit keyboard, the front lights, the trackpad lights and also the various other lights as well. Now one of the ways in which this differs from the M14X is that you get this set of macro buttons here on the keyboard as well as the full size number keyboard and also some quick shortcut buttons here on the top of the device itself which enable you to get access to sort of multimedia functionality as well as the volume and the wireless configuration. There's also a button on there for the Alienware command center. Now let's just move on to round two and just talk about the heat that's generated from this laptop. Now when you're using this laptop it runs at just a normal temperature if you're just doing day-to-day -day things using Word and Outlook and all of the other sort of standard desktop applications. When you do start running games or anything that requires a slightly higher level of performance, the fans do kick in and the heat can get quite significant coming out of the four fan slots on the back of this laptop. The good thing about this laptop is, unlike the AM14X where the area around the trackpad can actually get quite hot, even when this is running at optimum temperatures, the actual 
area around the track pad itself does actually stay very very cool so that's a that's a definitely a good feature of this M18X. And let's just move on to round three and talk about the keyboard here. This keyboard really is an absolute pleasure to type on. It's that little bit larger than the M14X and the keys are really really nice to use. They give good feedback and really are very very comfortable. The touchpad is a decent size 3.2 inches by 1.8 inches and really does provide very little friction at all. Some of the multi-touch gestures work fairly well and you really do need to go in and configure those in the control panel before you actually start using this laptop. Now let's just talk about some of the ports. On the left hand side we've got a gigabit ethernet port, a VGA out, an HDMI out, a mini display port out and then we've got two USB 3 sockets and in fact those are sockets which still provide power even though the laptop's turned off and I think that's a really nice feature to have. We've got an SP diff port and we've also got a microphone port and two headphone sockets as well. Now if I just turn this laptop around to the other side, we can see here that we've got a PCMCIA slot, we've also got the optical drive, we've got an SD card memory reader, two more USB ports, we've actually got an eSATA port which is fantastic to include, and then we've also got an HDMI in if you want to display something on this device. Now like I said we've also got a 3 megapixel camera here at the top of the screen and that really does perform very well indeed. It's not as good as you might expect on a laptop of this capability but it does perform adequately for Skype calls and different kinds of video conferencing. Now let's just talk about the display. The display on this laptop is absolutely fantastic. It's 1920 by 1080 p it's got the glossy screen and it really does look very very impressive regardless of the applications you're running. It's quite a reflective screen so you need to make sure you're in the right light but other than that the screen on this laptop is absolutely awesome. I've read a lot of reviews where they say that it's not up to scratch and I really don't know where they get that from unless this one in particular has been changed in a recent slight update or something because this screen really is a fantastic performer and I would definitely highly recommend it to anyone purely based on that alone. Now in terms of audio, like I said this audio system on here is powered by Klipsch and as I mentioned in the previous review on my M14X that was actually the best audio that I'd ever heard on a laptop and this one not only levels that but it actually goes a step further and this is now by far and away the best sounding laptop I've ever heard. The audio on this, the depth of bass and treble really is fantastic and something that you just wouldn't expect to hear out of any laptop even one of this size. Now let's just talk about some performance information here. I'm just going to zoom in on the screen so we can hopefully see it slightly clearer. And what I've got here is Geekbench, sorry, Geekbench 2.1.7, the 64-bit version. And I'm just going to run the actual Geekbench on this. In fact, I've already run it. So let's just talk about the performance of this M18X. I've actually ran a Geekbench report on this laptop. And as we can see here, we're actually getting a score of 9,236. So the processor performance comes in at 9,203. The processor floating point performance comes in at 12,190. The memory performance comes in at 6,383. And the memory bandwidth at 4,719. Now this laptop's only got 4 gig of RAM, which is probably a bad amount of RAM to have in a laptop of this kind. It really needs to be upgraded to sort of 8 or 16 gigs, and then that stat would actually go up quite significantly with that larger amount of RAM. But overall, a very good Geekbench score there for any kind of laptop, scoring extremely well. And if you actually compare that to every other laptop on Geekbench, it really does outperform the vast majority of them, and also outperforms the vast majority of desktops as well. Now let's just quickly take a look at the Windows Experience Index. Now the Windows Experience Index on this machine is coming in at 5.9. Now that really doesn't reflect well on this laptop because the processor score is 7.5, the memory score is 7.5, the graphics score is 7.5 and the gaming graphics is 7.5 as well. The only thing that lets it down slightly is the hard drive which comes in at 5.9. 
I've run a couple of games on this and it actually outperforms the M14X so if you want to check the uh, crisis gameplay video that I did on the M14X you'll find that this actually goes about five to six frames per second faster than each of the tests that I actually did on the M14X so rather than do it again just go and check out that video and add about five to six frames per second on every different setting and in fact this will actually run crisis 2 in its highest setting on the full 1920 by 1080p resolution at just over 35 frames per second so most definitely a fantastic performer in terms of gaming and let's just talk about the wireless options on this device it's got full Bluetooth version 3 it's also got the wireless B, G and N support and this one's actually got the higher version of the Wi-Fi that you can actually choose a configuration option now the reason I went for that was because the Wi-Fi was a bit poor on the M14X and I didn't go for that added oxygen for the extra sort of 20 to 30 pounds or dollars and that really does make a very big difference in terms of the Wi-Fi performance and it really does perform extremely well now using the inbuilt Wi-Fi so definitely recommend that as a configuration upgrade because you really do notice it. Now let's just talk about the battery life the battery on this is absolutely ginormous if you look at the specifications it's a huge battery but the problem is because of the size of the machine the battery doesn't really last very long at all the maximum I've got out of it doing sort of day to day tasks is about three hours and then in, in gaming probably about one and three quarters to two hours so unfortunately even though it has got a very large battery the battery life does somewhat let the laptop down but then I don't really think that this is a laptop that's designed to be used without the charger anyway so you know it's not necessarily such a bad thing now I'd just like to talk a little bit about the loudness of this laptop when the fans kick in there's four slots on the back of this huge slots for the fan extraction and when the fans do kick in on this they really do kick up quite a large amount of noise now the funny thing is even though there's obviously more fan extraction on this than there is on the M14X I think because there's more area for the fans to kick out the extracted air it actually comes in a little bit quieter than the M14X even with them running at full speed. Something else that's always fun about the Alienware laptops is the LED backlit keyboard and the fact that you can actually go into the command center and completely change all of the colors of all the lights on the Alienware completely to how you want them to be. I'll put a link to a video where I explain that below in the description you can go and check that out for yourself. Now let's just talk about the weight. This weight of this laptop actually comes in at around six kilograms so it does feel extremely heavy if you have to carry it around for any period of time but like I say I don't really think this is a very much of a portable laptop so it's not really something that would probably be an issue to most people that are looking at this laptop. Now my overall opinion on this laptop is that it really is a fantastically built piece of equipment. The build quality is second to none. The design really does look fantastic. The screen is absolutely awesome. I love the LED lights and the fact that you can completely configure them. And the performance really is absolutely insanely good on this laptop. And for me, if you're looking for a sort of a laptop that you can carry around to like LAN parties for example if you want to, but really does give you the performance of a desktop with that kind of size screen this is an ideal laptop if you do want to carry this around and use it in public locations for example then probably not the laptop for you but overall very very happy with this M18X and would most definitely recommend it to those sort of niche areas of people that would use a laptop like this so again thanks everyone for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next one